guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on Crayola watercolors as well as the Artist Loft watercolors. So I hope you guys like it. For the Crayolas, um, the, the, they only cost $3.90 and I got them at Target and I'm sure you could find them just about anywhere. There are actually 24 colors in this pack and they are very vivid and very bright. They do come with a little paintbrush. I don't really care for it though. The bristles are made of natural hair so that's good it's not like a little plastic bristle but I just choose to use uh, artist loft round six paintbrush the casing it comes with can act like a palette so you can mix your colors Crayola is a really well-known brand they do have a lot of other options and it's great it's really great uh, medium to use if you're a beginner because you could find it just about anywhere you can even go to the grocery store and I'm sure you could find the little eight pack but it might be expensive there <laughs> since these are student quality paints they don't flow as nice as you would with artist grade paints but you could always just add a little bit more water if you really want that flowy effect the browns and the black in this set they're really like they're not really gray or black or brown they're more like orange and really warm so if you want more of a brownish color and less of an orangish color you should probably do a little bit of mixing so sorry about the lighting right here the sun was going down while I was recording I really like this set because you get your primaries and then you get your pastels and then you get your um, other more muted tones. I really like how the finish on the Crayolas, it's really glossy, like I guess it's made with a bit of wax, like the crayons, and I like the little gloss effect it has. <laughs> Since these colors are really bright, I actually like these more for cartoons instead of uh, realistic looking pieces. And that's about it I have to say about the Crayolas. And here is a close-up of the peach I painted in it. Moving on to the Artist Loft. These are the Michaels In Brand paints. They did come with a brush that I didn't really care for either, but they did have a little um, pamphlet on watercolors. It covers the basics. So if you're new to watercolors and you want a little tutorial, that's a good um, thing about it. The top, uh, the lid of the palette does pop off quite easily when you open it. You can use it to mix the colors together and it acts like a little palette. The 36 colors are a lot different from the 24 you get with the Crayola. The, the only problem I have with the color choices is that there's not really a true red. It's more of like a reddish orange as in the Crayola you get a nice bright red in there. These cost around $6 but Michaels does have a 40% off coupon a lot of the time so if you have that they probably cost around the same price as the Crayolas. The tones in this palette are much more natural looking and I really like them for realistic pieces because they have a lot of earthy tones in them and they're not too like bright and neon that it looks like a cartoon it looks some it looks like something you'd see in real life so 
this flows just as well, if not better, as the Crayolas. Again, they are student quality paints, so you might have to add more water if you really want it to flow nicely. <laughs> The oranges in this set and yellows really vary from the Crayolas, which I really liked because yellow, it's like really hard to see the contrast in the shades and tones. So I really enjoyed doing the yellow parts in this piece with the Artist Loft paints. Even though these tones are more earthy and more natural looking, they're still very bright and vivid, even though they don't look as cartoony. <laughs> Overall, these are really good watercolors. I enjoy using them. They have more of like a clay um, feeling to them, and they do have a matte finish. So it's not glossy as opposed to cr the Crayolas, it just looks uh, matte. So if you like that, it's a pretty good <laughs> thing. I've noticed the browns in this set are so much better than the Crayolas because they look more natural, they're more earthy and they don't look as cartoony or orange. They look like true browns and they do have a variety of grays in here as well so that if it's not exactly how you want it to be you could add more colors into the mix. I would definitely recommend both of these sets to anyone wanting to start out with watercolor. They're both good student grade watercolors and if they are basically the same price. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed my little review of this. Here are a few pictures where you can see them side by side and compare them to see which kind of finish and <laughs> which one you prefer to work with. <laughs> I really hope this video helps you guys out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content like this, just leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you can see more. Bye!